Good day everyone. Today I'm going to speak to you on money. Um, this is part of our Triple M uh, global management training. And money, what do we think of money? We think of money as being a measure of labor. A lot of people think that um, it is because when you go to work you get paid and that is why we say that money is a measure of labor. Money is extremely important to each and every one of us. In fact, without money you cannot do anything. It's ranked right up there with oxygen as much as we need to breathe that's how much we need money because absolutely nothing can be done without money so being with that being said the the employers get paid every every day you go to work you get paid and where do the people that pay you where do they get the money from I mean it, it doesn't just fall from anywhere money does come from somewhere but what happened is money is printed money is created electronically and the people that do that are mainly the bankers. Um, they are allowed to print money and at no cost, no actually no real cost. So this money is used um, for to, to give them luxurious, luxurious lifestyle. They can do whatever they want because they have money. And um, it's because only the elite who have the money and they have unlimited rights that belong to the Treasury and the Central Reserve Bank and some commercial banks as well the banks use this money to lend others i mean they take people's money and they give it to others at a high interest rate this money in turn is used to create a profit for them on the other hand the people that go to work no matter how hard they work how much of labor they put in there's just a limited number of hours in the day so obviously the amount of money you make is also limited there's not much that anyone can do. This is a fact that people can print money and they can make so much more money while others have to go and work to get it. Money is not a measure of labor. It is more It is more a, a bondage. It creates slavery in this world. As much as we would like to believe that slavery has been abolished, that really is not the case because people work for money. They sell their souls. They sell their, their physical labor for money and um, therefore we call it we call it a form of bondage and our freedom is only an illusion people we think that we are free our constitution tells us we are free but that in fact is just an illusion there are so many wars in this world if you think about it countries are fighting all over the place and people cannot really understand where do, do the what started these wars and why are people fighting at the end of the day, it's because of money. People want wealth. People are seeking wealth. Politicians want us to believe that if you vote a good government, vote for a good um, president or someone good into parliament, that your living conditions will improve. But that is definitely not the case because we've seen it in all the countries where you vote for the party that you want to come into power. And your life doesn't change. You, I mean, we've seen it here in South Africa that um, for the past over 20 years that we voted in a new government, that things in fact have, they, they have deteriorated. Nothing has gotten better in all this time that we've, we've seen new governments. So at the same time, we would like to say that money is, it's, it's, it's driving people to become frustrated because they can see that other countries are getting enriched and um, this, this financial system is just, it's, it doesn't it doesn't uh, make anybody's lives better the government is not going to change anything people want to live a better life they want better lifestyles and in order for people to do that they need to they need to be able to change a lot of things they need to change um, the way of thinking they need to change uh, the beliefs of a lot of people have been brainwashed brainwashed to believe that you have to go to work to earn money and what we need to know is that money is definitely money is definitely not um, it's not a measure of labor. And at Triple M Global, we are aware now that the internet we in an internet age, and that lots of people the internet connects people all over the world. So this will enable people to be speaking to each other to transfer money to each other electronically all over the world. And um, nowadays, there's also bitcoins which is enforced. And that makes it so much easier to exchange funds. So Triple M Global wants to ch change the economic conditions of the world, to improve it, to make it a better place. 
and that is the aim of changing the whole monetary system so that this world can become a better place to get rid of the greed, the hunger and the anger that people have and really change our world into a much better place. Um, that is my understanding of money and I do hope that it will enlighten each and every one of you. Thank you very much.